everyone, Grim Fury here, and again I'm going to be your taste ambassador as we experience snacks from a different country, from all over the world, each and every month, all thanks to Universal Yums at UniversalYums.com. And where are we going this time? Well, these yums traveled all the way from the land with the largest castle. Hi! <laughs> and where is that, you might ask? Well, we're going to find out. And just to remind you, this is the Super Yum Box. So this is the largest box that Universal Yums does. So we're going to have 20, 20 plus snacks in here. So let's go ahead and get started and see which country these wonderful snacks are coming from. <laughs> Not the loudest Sonic, but hey. All right, here we go. Let's find out where they're from. Hey, guess what? <laughs> we just kind of smacked the camera around a little bit, didn't we? With that flap. I'm going to have to be a little bit more careful. <laughs> I'll just blame it on Rory. All right. So as I was going to say, the land with the largest castle is Poland. And there's the wonderful little map that they put in each of the boxes. Little friendly little art, little stuff on there. And on the back is the Universal Yum Awards where I vote my best, second best, worst, and weirdest. And it shows each and every snack across the top. There's also a puzzle and there is a game on the back. All right. And of course, there's the little booklet that comes in each and every one. And I am most certain we will probably be turning to this book probably more than once just in case some of the snacks do not have an English translation on them. So we will set this aside and I will try to do this without smacking the camera around anymore, but no promises. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and get this started off, shall we? <laughs> I'm excited. All right. First we have, oh, wow, they're potato chips of some kind. Mm. I'm, you know what, I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce this. I wonder if it's going to be like this for the whole box, but. Those are some big words. <laughs> so let's do like I said I'll probably need to do and consult the book and see what this is. Oh, here we go. Dill potato chips. Okay. Well, I guess, yeah, it's got dill on the front of the bag, but I really didn't notice it. I smell, I smell potato chips, but I really don't smell dill. I was expecting like a big waff of uh, dill, but mm -mm. Right, let's grab a cup, grab a couple, and they just look like normal potato chips. So let's try them. There's <laughs> definitely dill. It's not overpowering. But definitely, as soon as you put it in your mouth, you get that quick hit of dill. Like I said, it's it's mild, so it's not bad. It's not bad at all. But still, I mean, you just taste dill and you taste potatoes. So, but hey, 
All right, let's go to the next one. We got <laughs> by Lorenz Monster Munch Original. Now I know I don't know if this is the only kind of Monster Munch there is or not. I have no idea, but I know my girlfriend in uh, England. She uh, gets Monster Munch on occasion, and she just absolutely loves this stuff. So, like I said, I don't know if this is the only kind. I'm sure there's other flavors, but I'm, ve I'm very familiar with the name of this. So, let's see if it says there's anything other than just original. Let's look. Salted Potato Snack. It's cute. All right, here we go. It's not, it doesn't have like the uh, crunch to it like a uh, potato chip would. It's softer. Um, well, actually if you're familiar with the chips called Munch, <laughs> um, they're like that. They're more lighter, more airy. You know, they're not as, you know, not as crispy. But still, they're nice. All right. Let's keep going. Next, we have Run Chips Sticks by Lawrence. It says paprika, but it has a red bell pepper on the front. So I'm going to have to consult the book and see what it says. Let's see if it is just paprika. Because that red pepper makes me think that the red pepper has something to do with it. Yeah, that's usually the way it works. Nope, it says paprika potato sticks. Okay. I don't really smell anything, to be honest with you. Let's see if we can't get just a small amount of these little guys out of here. Let me show you what they look like. There we go. They just look like, you know, actually they kind of look like they would be barbecue flavored uh, potato sticks. But, all right. Let's give them a try. It's actually got quite a bit of flavor to it. I've never eaten anything that was just paprika flavored. Um, and about the only thing I've ever eaten that has paprika, you know, on it that you can see is just deviled eggs, and you know, you, the other flavors kind of drown everything else out. So if that's what paprika tastes like, doing good, Poland. All right. Next we have. <sighs> Yeah, I'm debating whether I want to do attempt to pronounce that. And obviously the answer is no. <laughs> so, oh wait, it's got a paper, paper tag on the back. Pretzel sticks with poppy seeds. Okay, I was going to... I know. It had a poppy on it. But I was, I was thinking chia. I don't know why, but... It's got a different smell to it. I can't really describe it. Let's just grab one and you're going to be able to see. It's got little poppy seeds on it. Just a pretzel. So, here we go. Well, the poppy seeds, you can feel it when you're chewing it. But it adds very, you know, virtually nothing to the flavor. So it just t tastes like a regular salted pretzel stick. Time for a drink. Of 
Oh, come on, get on there straight. All right. Next we have... Can't quite make out what that... Skaboa? Uh, Pierre Mixki? Uh, Chekaladze? That's as far as I'm going to go. It's got a picture of apples on the front, and there's this of chocolate. Um, I'm going to guess, and I think it might be like some kind of apple-filled cookie. That's going to be my guess. I figured I'd try a couple of the words. They didn't look like they were that big. So, let's see what we got here. I can't remember. Is that? Yep, that was the beginning. Chocolate covered gingerbread with apple filling. Oh, I got the apple right. And I got the cookie part right. Oh, you can depth you can smell you can smell the gingerbread and the apple. Oh, they're small. Oh, they're not super small. I just got I guess it was laying just right. So oh the, yeah. I was wondering if they are heart shaped. Let's see if we can't hold it. Oh, I don't want to drop it. There it is. Hmm. Kind of ironic they'd pick something like that for uh, getting close to Valentine's Day. I mean, yeah, it's next month, but still. Well, let's just try the whole thing and see what it's like. Very nice, nice, nice and soft. There's not a lot of apple in it. I, I'd say there's just enough, just enough to complement the chocolate and the gingerbread. So quite nice. All right, next we have <laughs> crackers. Let's see on the back. I've also got the sticker. Crackers with black cumin seeds and onion. All right. Come on now. Yeah, there we go. I smell a little bit of, like a sp spice, but nothing really to... You know, that I can really pinpoint. Here they're little tiny crackers. So, bottoms up. Hmm, such a nice. They taste just like a regular, mm, kind of like, um, not like a Ritz cracker, but, you know, like a store brand. And it's got a little hint of, of a type of spice in it. So I guess it's the black, black cumin and whatever else, and the onion. Um, so very nice, very nice. All right, well, here we go. Dr. Gerard, Tropical Coconut. <laughs> Ew! No! It's such a big package, too, with yuckies in it. Look at that. That. Oh. What does it say on the back? Chocolate flavored cookies with cream and coconut dipped in cocoa glaze. Oh, goody. As you can tell, if you didn't already know, I don't like coconut. And this looks like it's got a lot of coconut in it, or on it, 
or both. Well, let me show you what a whole one looks like. Oh, it's got chocolate on the back. Let's see if I can just break a piece off. Oh, that's going to be too big as it is, but what are you going to do? Here we go. Get back in there. Back in the package. Well, the cocoa was really nice. I I I can say that much. And at first, I thought, oh. You know, I jump to conclusions. I can't, there's no coconut taste. And then it's like, here I am. So, no. No. Sorry. That's going to be a no. All right. Next we have Beskidiski Palucci, whatever that is. It looks like Swiss cheese and green onion by the pictures. There's the bag. All right, what does it say on the back? Pretzel sticks, cheese and onion flavor. I was right, and the because the little squares of cheese had holes in it, so it looked like Swiss cheese to me. So, I really can't smell anything. Good size pretzel stick, about twice the size of the other pretzel sticks. Ice machine. Very mild flavors to it. Mostly taste the pretzel. Barely taste any cheese, barely taste any onion, so it's not bad. We're getting there, people. <laughs> I see one thing I got a twosie of, so I'm checking to see if I got twosies of anything else. Doesn't look like it, so let's go ahead and get the twosie thing out of the way. I'll set one here. It says mini cakes, sponge cakes, decorated. Well, okay. Oh, apricot. Didn't see. Didn't see that. So this. Sponge cake with uh, apricot. Could be good. Let's find out. Don't smell apricot. I smell like a glaze almost. Almost like a frosting is what I smell. So let's see. Well, this is what it looks like. There's one side. There's the other side. Here's the middle. So, let's see what we can do here. How big of a mess we're going to make. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, there we go. I think, think, think. Yep, yep. There we go. All right. Well, let's try it. That filling is very sweet. Um, I 
I don't taste apricot though. Just, I don't know, like a, well, there, there we go, there we go. Del delayed taste of uh, apricot. It was tasting just kind of like a vanilla, like a, um, um, like a vanilla frosting. So, it's not bad. All right, what's next? What do we got here? Ah, Patasi, Malexo, Five, Pianek, Wanaloe, not a clue. Oop, so it, well, I'll show you the picture first before I see what it says on the back. Got a fancy little package. All right, what do we got? Dark chocolate covered marshmallow. Eh, I'm not. I'm not big. I'm not big on mar marshmallows when it comes to being like chocolate covered marshmallows. I mean, I don't mind them like say Rice Krispie treats and stuff like that, or marshmallows and cocoa. But other than that, I mean, I'll eat a marshmallow. I mean, you know, you know, like especially if it's like roasted, like over a fire, you know. I'll, you know, I'll eat one of those, but I probably won't eat more than a couple. Just gets to be too much. But this is what they look like. It's kind of a rectangle. So, well, here we go. Nah. Mm, no. No. Mm-mm. Oh no, uh-uh. As much as I hate to say it, I just like this more than I just like the one with the coconut in it. And that's saying something. But no, mm-mm. Um, I mean, really, really sweet. Um, the uh, marshmallow had um, a text texture somewhere between um, just a regular marshmallow, like say right out of the bag, and marshmallow cream. It was right in the middle, so yeah, the texture is really weird. But yeah, no. Ugh. Ugh. All right. Next we have Feria crackers with Province herbs. Okay, it's a nice looking package. Let's see the same thing on the back. Crackers with herbs de Province. Okay. I'm actually surprised I haven't had to consult the book that many times. Either we had them in English, or they had a sticker art on the back with the translation, so. Which I don't mind looking in the book. I really don't. Whoop, easy there. You don't want to wreck the package. Come on now. Oh, goodness. Come on out. Oh, they're nice and thin, so I'll just... <laughs> it is not going to go back in the package very easily. I can tell that already. But there's a cracker. And I'll just break this in half and shove the whole thing in my gob. So, I'll see how this one is. Not trying to sound sarcastic, but there's definitely herbs. Almost like a, uh, I don't know, like a garden herb like flavor to it. So, 
I mean, it's good. It's nice. Um, a very herby uh, flavor to it. I know I forgot to smell it to see what it was like, but that's okay. Still pretty good, you know. A nice balanced cracker. I like it. Come on. Come on, Poland. We're getting down to the wire, and I haven't found any that I'm just like, oh my god, I love this. I've had some that I like, but nothing that I really love yet. So, here's the next thing. Milk is Extra Smack Maleka Z Tubka. <laughs> Okie dokie. Oh, here we go. Milk chocolate bar with milk filling. All right. I never understand why they did the whole milk filling thing. I mean, I've seen those cereal bars that had what they called milk filling. Excuse me. I should never tasted anything like milk. Unless it was sugary milk. But let's see. Pretty basic little cube thing. So, let's try it. It's got the white goodness in the middle. So, here we go. Hmm. Not quite sure what to. I don't know. The chocolate's fairly decent, and the the uh, milk filling is just. I don't know. There's just something. There's just something about it that just you know it's not like chocolate that I'm used to. Um, I don't know, there's just a, there's just a flavor in there that, uh, you know, you know, I really can't describe. So, anyways, almost there, folks. Let's see, what are we going to do? Let's do another bar. All right, we've got a Krokawi. Oop, what have we got? Milk chocolate bar with caramel filling. Well, this should be better, I'm hoping. It's by the same company that did the other one. So, let's find out. Almost got it. Oop, I don't want to tear it. It's not if I can help it. Yeah, this is going to be fun getting this back, rest of this back in there. There we go, there's the, there's the little chocolate bar. All right, let's see what we got. I was kind of hoping for, you know, stringy caramel, but nope. Mm, small chocolate, so here's mud in your eye. Caramel's nice. Chocolate's nice. It's not bad. I mean, it's a fairly decent caramel bar there. The chocolate again has a you know a flavor to it that I'm not quite used to. And I can't, you know, I can't describe it. Not bad. Not bad. Cleanse the palate of this chocolate. Alright. 
on the home stretch. All right, what do we got? Tago Delice. Hazelnut cream filled meringues dipped in dark chocolate. Hmm. Let's see, it's a really tall box. All right. Oh. Well, didn't peel back the way it's supposed to. I remember the old meringue cookies. Um, I think it was Albertsons used to sell them. You know, they just kind of look like, you know, someone put them in a uh, pastry tube, just kind of, you know, did one of those, made like a little little pile, and they were um, sprayed um, with uh, food coloring, and they were just all different colors. Um, I can't remember if my brother like really liked them or not, but I know I absolutely love those things. Well, the plastic is tearing and not the way I want it to, so. But at least it's tearing down low, not over the top, so let's see. Come on. Well, and not cool. There we go. Good chocolate smell. Let's see if we can't get one out. Oh, okay, I guess the top, top of the other one broke. I was wondering why it looks so weird. But here it is. Bottom. So well, let's try this out. Let's hope for the best. Hmm. That's pretty good. The white part was the meringue, and it kind of disappeared pretty quickly. Pretty nice. All right, getting there, folks. Getting there. Getting there. All right. Oh, we got another um, bar by that company. Um, it says Nut Break, full of nuts. Milk chocolate bar with salted peanut filling. I don't like the way they put that. Salted peanut filling. Well, <clears throat> I guess it wouldn't be too bad. It would be almost like, you know, the way I was thinking of it would be, you know, basically what it would be would be kind of like peanut butter. You know, just peanuts and salt all blended together into like a paste and shoved inside of a candy bar. Which actually probably wouldn't be too bad. But here's the design on it. It looks like the first one of this the three of these. So, let's try it. Mm. I can smell, well, basically it kind of smells like salted peanuts, what I smell. So, let's try it. Oh, I like that. That's really nice. So it's not, I mean, chocolate and, you know, salted peanut filling. It's not peanut butter. It doesn't taste like peanut butter. It tastes, you know, just like salted peanuts, except it's not, you know, they're not whole peanuts or they're not um, crushed peanuts. It is, you know, a filling. It's like, you know, like peanut butter or it's, you know, oh, you know what I mean. This is actually really good. I actually think that's my favorite one in the box so far. And we're down to the wire. Alright, last of the big one. Another one by Dr. Gerard. Passion. Orange flavor. Crispy biscuit with cream filling in the orange flavor shell. It's kind of a weird way of putting it. Let's try this. 
chocolate flavored biscuit with orange cream. Chocolate flavored biscuits with orange cream. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Gerard, don't do me dirty like you did with the um, coconut one. I seriously doubt you will with the orange. I would be very upset if you ruined, ruined orange cream for me. Let's see what I can't get. Oh, well, they're good sized. So, I like that. Let's see if I can get the back. The back. It's a little bit bigger than I want, so I'm gonna try to just break it in half. There we go. Excuse me. Yeah, nothing, nothing fancy. Oh yeah, I love that orange cream smell. So hopefully it tastes as good as it smells. That's pretty good. The orange cream is the most pronounced flavor, but it's not overpowering. The uh, chocolate biscuit is very, you know, very light, light crunch to it, light chocolate taste. So that's quite good. It doesn't quite, it doesn't beat the. Uh, that uh, salted peanut bar, but it's close. All right, we're down to the last, last thing, last item, so to speak, and back by popular demand or whatever is the yum bag. I haven't had this in a few months, and uh, those of you that are um, aren't familiar, the yum bag usually contains. Um, well, like little hard candies and little soft candies, like you know caramels and and whatnot. So they stopped putting them in there in um, lieu of like another packaged um, item. But so many people liked the um, yum bag, they asked for it back. So I'm going to see what's in the yum bag so that way I can pull one of those one of those one one each out so it looks like we've got four different things we've got more than that we've got like four oh boy this is gonna be fun This soft or is this hard? This is hard one. Let's see. I'm probably just gonna have to dump it out, make it a whole lot easier on myself. Let's put it all back in afterwards. Oh, that's a hard candy. Oh, good. just so many different there's like what, four different flavors of, no there's three different flavors of like these little gummies so I'm just going to pick one and there's these all look like they're the same so we're going to pick one of those and one hard candy
Oh, and there's another one too. Let's see. Right. All right. So, let's go ahead and take another quick drink. All right. So, first we have, where is it? Down here. Sugar coated jelly candy with raspberry filling. Oh, so they all have raspberry filling. They're just different colors. Well, that that's helpful. And that was that was this one that I showed you. Cause this one was kind of a orange color, and there was like a um this one's more of a a yellow, and then I think no, both of these are pink. So we're going to go ahead and eat a pink one, even though they're the same thing, but, you know, uh, you know, two of the same color, so we'll take one. All right. Oh, it smells good. Oh, it's nice and squishy. Not like a gummy, but, you know, here we go. Those are really good. <laughs> I don't know what to do with this. There we go. Mm. That was really good. Alright, so what do we have? Alright. What's the next one? The next. This one's a little bit stiffer. It just says cream fudge. They packaged it weird. So let's have to roll it. All right. Well, that's what it says. Cream fudge, and I'm not. It's by that Croca brand. Other than that, I'm not going to try to pronounce. It looks like a it looks like a caramel. Is what it looks like. See, this looks like a block of, ca of caramel. So let's try that. Oh man, that is soft. Sorry. <laughs> looks like a caramel. But definitely has the super soft bite of fudge. And I just messed everything up. Wow. Wasn't expecting it to be that soft. It's not bad though. I don't prefer it. It's not bad. A lot, a lot of flavor going on here. So I'll have to take another drink. Got two more pieces of candy to try. All right. Next one we have, it says... So there's, it says strawberry, raspberry, peach, and lemon candies with yogurt filling. So, I, where'd you go? I grabbed a strawberry. And it, what is it? Yogusi? Yogusip? Is that an E? Yogusi. Let's see. Oh, well, you can see that. But there's the little strawberry on it. And it seems like it's a hard candy. Feels like it's a really hard candy. So let's find out. Looks like a creamy cough drop. Hopefully it doesn't taste like one. Ooh, it's kind of sticky. Duh. Pretty 
nice. I don't know, can't really describe it, just a fruity, fruity flavor. It doesn't really taste like strawberry. So let's see how hard it is. Oh, it's not that hard. It's slightly hard on the outside. And a slightly chewy center to it. Hmm. Now I'm crinkling the paper. It's not bad. Wait till this goes away. All right, there we go. Last, very last item. Uh, I'm not even gonna try. <laughs> Chocolate candies with strawberry and black currant filling. So. Oh, it's just right side up. There you go. So that's this one. I'm thinking this might be the black current. So here you go, folks. Very last item in the box. Ooh, it's pretty. Pretty chocolate. So see if this is a hard candy or not. Whoa, this is not lose a crazy thing. All right, last thing. Mm -mm, not, not hard at all. Hmm. Not bad, it's kind of a dark chocolate. So I'm thinking the wrappers are just different color wrappers. This says with strawberry and black currant fillings. Because I can taste strawberry, I can taste chocolate, and I can taste something else. So it's gotta be the black currant. Not bad. Not bad at all. Well, <laughs> that's it everyone. A whole bunch of stuff and got a few good ones a couple of bad ones and a bunch of okay ones um, this is a pretty mediocre box for me but I mean hey you know there's hundreds of countries out there it's, it's bound to happen um, but still there's lots of really good ones you know in here that I, you know, I'm still going to enjoy, and um, but I'm still happy with it. I mean, when you're getting something from different countries, there's going to be there's going to be hits, there's going to be misses, and that's just all part of the excitement. That's all part of the journey. So um, remember, this was Poland from Universal Yums, and like always, they have a little clue on the back of the booklet telling you where next month's box is going to come from. So let's see what the clue says. It says clue to next month's box. Oh, what is, why put it, why, why put a foreign word in the beginning? That's not going to help me. Uh, J. Timey, the man said, and the woman looked up. But what she saw was him gazing at his empty soup cup. Where we're headed next, the yums steal hearts away. Salty caramels, rich truffles, and cheesy souffle. And there's the clue. Hopefully you'll have better luck at it than I, because I don't have an idea. <laughs> I'm completely clueless. <laughs> 
<laughs> so, thank you everyone for joining me. I hope you had a good time. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. And if you, you know, if this looks like something that you would enjoy, go to Universal Yums at universalyums.com and subscribe. They have three different size of boxes. Uh, one has, I believe, six. The middle size one has about 12, and the largest one has like 20. This was the largest one. So, <laughs> that was everything from Poland, folks. So, thank you once again for joining me. I hope you had a great time. I really appreciate you being here and sharing this experience with me. And I hope you'll join me next week for a new video. You know, it should be my Z-Box, but you just never know. We won't know until Tuesday gets here. <laughs> so thank you, everyone, once again for being here. And take care, everyone. All of you here in Oklahoma, don't you know freeze. It's been pretty chilly the past few days. So stay warm. Have a great day. Have a great week. I love you guys. And I will see you all next week for a new video. Take care, everyone. Bye.